Hello, good morning viewers. Here we are again after a one month break. Happy Eid al-Fitr to all the Muslims out there. May all our acts of ibadat be accepted. And here is the continuation of our lesson on bearings and distance. And the question reads, a point P is 40 kilometers from another point Q on a bearing of 6 to 1 degrees. But we are asked to calculate, correct to one decimal place, the distance of P2. We have A, north of Q, B, east of Q. This means that the first question A here, we're going to calculate the distance of P to north of Q. So now let us interpret this question to our normal sketch. Remember I told you, the very first thing you need to construct is the first bearing from the question. And from the question, we only have a single bearing, which is 6 to 1 degrees. And where are we going to construct that 6 to 1 degrees? This word would always determine the point. You can see that word? From. It is going to be constructed from Q. 6 to 1 degrees. So let's assume this is our point point Q. You know, I told you, every point has a north pole. So this is the north pole of this Q because every angle must be calculated from the north. So we are going to construct angle 6 to 1 degrees from this north of Q. Roughly, we have something like this. So this angle here, you know, you have to attach an arrow showing that the angle is from the knot to the line leading to point P. So this is 6 to 1 degrees. You know, it is going to be in three figures. 1, 2, 3. Once the angle is less than 100, you have to attach 0 behind. And we are told from the question that from this Q down to P, is 40 kilometers. So let's assume this is our point P. It also has a north pole. The distance apart is 40 kilometers. We are done with this statement. Let's come back to our question. We are asked to find, correct to one decimal place, the distance of P. This is the P. We want to find the distance of P uh, to not of Q. Where is the not of Q? This is Q and this is the not of Q. So we are going to draw a straight line vertically from Q. It must be vertically. Can you see that? So the distance of P down to this vertical line must also be a horizontal line, a straight line horizontally from P. Something like this. So we want to find this distance right here. So I can call this place uh, R. This point I can call it R. It is not given from the question. So how can we find the distance from R to P? which I have denoted with x. Remember our trigonometric ratios. This is just a right angle triangle because this is an angle of 90 degrees. The intersection between two lines, one horizontal and one vertical line, must form an angle of 90 degrees, which is this. Thereby forming a right angle triangle. So what is the relationship between this angle here, which is 61 degrees, this distance, I can bring it out. Let me bring it out. 40 kilometers. And this other unknown length or distance. Okay. Um, you can see that uh, this angle 61 degrees is directly opposite to the line we are looking for. And hence, we can use sine ratio. Because sine ratio sign of this angle which is given 61 degrees from our so rules 
so means opposite divided by hypotenuse and you can see the longest side is 40 degrees which is the hypotenuse is given from the question and what we are looking for is the opposite so we can say opposite divided by the hypotenuse which is 40. all right uh, if we make x the subject we're going to obtain something like this x is equal to 40 multiply both sides by 40 40 sine 6 to 1 so let me use my calculator from your calculator just press 40 then multiply by press sign 6 to 1 what we have here is 34.98 this is equal to 34.98 nine eight four but remember from the question it says it's correct to one decimal place so we have to convert this to one decimal place thereby taking away the two last digits but the next value here which is eight is greater than four and hence we have to round this up if you round this up it is going to be ten and if it is ten you have to drop zero and add one to the next number behind it and this is equal to 35.01 dp okay i have i haven't included the unit this is kilometers one dp and this x is just the distance between r to p so i can call this rp this is the first question which is a part now let us move on to uh, the B part. The B part, it says we should calculate the distance of P to east of Q. Where is the east of Q? <laughs> you know our cardinal points are like this. We have north, we have south, we have east, we have west. So if this is Q, this is exactly east of q look at it this is east of q so, and we want to find the distance of p to east of q so we have to draw a vertical line again here that meets with this horizontal line that comes from q so we want to find the distance here let me call this one y if this is p uh, q r i can call this s we want to find this y and again remember that this angle here is 90 degrees if you combine this angle and this angle you shall obtain angle of 90 degrees already we have 6 to 1 what is left is 29 degrees again this 29 degrees is directly opposite to this side length of ps and hence we are free to use sine ratio so we can say sine 29, which is the angle opposite to the length we are looking for, is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. And opposite is the side length we are looking for, which is y, divided by hypotenuse, which is the longest side. We have it here as 40 kilometers. To make y the subject, we either cross multiply or we multiply both sides by the denominator 40. So y alone will be equal to 40 sine 29 degrees. Use your calculator. Press 40 multiply by sine 29. What we have is 19.39. 238 but we want to round it to one decimal place so we can write it as 19.4 kilometers this is 1 dp but remember this y is just the distance between p to s as p o p s is the same thing this is equal to 19.4 kilometers so we have just answered these questions. The first question, we are asked to find the distance of P. This is P to north of Q. And this is Q and this is north of Q. 
So the distance from here down uh, to the north of Q. And the other one, we are asked to find the distance of P to east of Q. And this is Q, this is the east of Q. So we want to find the distance from here down to the east of Q. And we have them as 35 and 19.4 respectively. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. Thank you.